says Allah Allah Azza wa Jalla when you hear of a certain news research it find out if it's true or not and, and move accordingly otherwise you'll be sorry so that you may not do things that you'll regret later don't believe any news that you hear. Don't consider it true at first instance. Research it and find out if it's true or not. And when you're about to do some work or a job, research it, otherwise you'll be sorry later. So this applies to everything not just against enemies, but it applies to work, to travel, it applies to everything. You should not believe everything you hear. People are deceived, and so that they are not deceived, Allah is warning us, especially during these days. Now with the, these computers and the internet, not thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of unnecessary news and lies are full everywhere. So don't follow it and get upset and get sad. So you may not be uneasy. These are sick people. They love lies and they love to make people uneasy. So don't value them. And inshallah we may not value such news. We get weird, strange news and they tell us as well they're unbelievable. But there are plenty of people who also believe it. As if it's the word of Allah. They don't believe the Qur'an, but whatever's written there, as if it's the Qur'an, they believe it, and they make people anxious and uneasy. While as if, whereas if they were to research it, well, what's even better is not to look at that stuff at all. Because even if you look and read it and you don't believe it, it still might make you uneasy and anxious. Allah is merciful. He, and in order for people not to be uneasy and so they may not be deceived, He cautions us. Allah created us and created the nafs, the ego and shaitan. And they all are there to do evil. Allah knows. And so that we may not be fooled. There are many who, in the beginning anyway, at first claim to be Muslim and they tell us to do such and such and do this and that. And then there are those who are not Muslims. They do all sorts of shaitanic things. So Allah tells us to be careful so we may not be regretful later. May Allah not make us sorry in the end and may He strengthen our faith. May the khatams and Qur'ans that are recited, that were recited, be accepted and may they be gifted to the Prophet and the Prophets and Awliya and Salihin and especially for the ancestors of those who recited them. May they reach them and reach all of our ancestors. May it be a means for goodness, inshaAllah.